In this lecture, we're going to deal with the reverse heat engine. So let's suppose that a certain fridge has a coefficient of performance equal to 3.5 and it uses 300 joules every single second. How long would it take the fridge to freeze 200 grams of water at 0 degrees Celsius? Assume that the fridge only contains the 200 grams of water and nothing else. So this assumption basically means that all the energy that is transferred out of our freezer is transferred out of the 200 grams of water. That will become important in step 2. So let's begin with step 1. In step 1, recall that the coefficient of performance of our fridge is equal to the amount of energy that is released or taken out of our fridge per second divided by the amount of work that the fridge requires per second. Now we know that W is simply 300 joules and we know that our COP, our coefficient of performance, is given to be 3.5. So we have 3.5 is equal to QL divided by 300 joules. So we can solve for our QL and we find that QL is equal to 300 joules multiplied by 3.5 and that gives us 1000 50 joules. So that implies that 1050 joules of energy is pumped out of our fridge every single second. Now let's move on to step two. In step two we essentially want to determine how much energy is required to pump out of our 200 grams of water to completely freeze it. So how much energy is required to freeze the 200 grams of water. And this quantity is given by taking the product of the mass and the heat of fusion. Now the heat of fusion for water is given to be 333 kilojoules per kilogram. So we multiply 0.2 kilograms because 200 grams is equivalent to 0.2 kilograms. We multiply that by 333 kilojoules per kilogram. Notice that our kilogram will cancel and we're left with 66,600 joules of energy is required to completely freeze 200 grams of water. So now we combine what we found in step one and step two. And let's move on to step three. So we want to calculate the time it takes to freeze that water. So we know 1050 joules of energy is pumped out of our freezer. So that means it's pumped out from our water every single second. So that's the rate. So that means if we multiply how much or if we divide how much energy is required to freeze it by the rate, that will give us the time. So 66,600 joules divided by 1,050 joules per second, notice the joules will cancel and we're left with about 63.4 seconds. So it takes our fridge this many seconds to completely freeze this quantity of water.